I'm still <laughs> off. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, hello, and welcome to the uh, Dark Angel, the uh, Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks podcast. I'm Neil C. I'm Annalise. And here we are for episode number five. Five. I feel like I sound loud, but whatever. Uh, how was your week? How was your episode four week? <laughs> it was pretty good. I had a pretty mellow week overall. Yeah? I would say. Nothing exciting? Um, no, I mean, you know, not, nothing too exciting at work. It was pretty mellow and uh, pretty mellow at home, I think. Yeah. I have um, listed on our notes because, mm-hmm. you know, we make notes right. for the show so we don't sound like total idiots that we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> Although I don't know if the notes help. Uh, I have the, the news to catch up on is scones. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I'm not sure what that means either. We did make, or you made, I should say, uh, chocolate chip scones last weekend in lieu of donuts. But that doesn't seem I like it understand. would be a newsworthy topic. No, I don't know. And I think you mentioned it in the last podcast, so. I don't know. That's weird. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm so not sure we need to be updated on scones. Scones are good. Scones are good. I like um, scones. Everybody should have a scone. Let's, I think right now, wherever <laughs> you are, pause this. Go get yourself a scone. Right. And then come back and listen to it while you eat a scone. (laughs) Scones are lovely. I like the um, Starbucks has, um, is it the, no. Yeah. Maple, maple scones. Um, Is that just during winter and like uh, Halloween, winter, Thanksgiving? Pumpkin spice scone. No. Pumpkin pumpkin scone. I think you're right because you get the pumpkin spice latte and things like that. No. So I like those. I have to learn how to make those. Mm. Yeah, I think I, I just that. want the maple jizz that they put on top of the scone. Because wow. that's the best part. <laughs> okay. That's why I get maple donuts. <laughs> I think it's maple, maple tree. Can we call it maple frosting instead of maple jizz? Would that be okay? <laughs> I call it Neil frosting. You can call it maple frosting. Call it whatever Whoa. you want. But I think that's the best part of the maple donut is the, the maple love that's spread on top. I see. And I don't like the maple donut. So you're on your own there. That What? You don't have to like the maple. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> when did this become about chocolate. your maple Our love plane. donut? I don't know. <laughs> okay. So go buy a maple scone for me and send it here. <laughs> Thank you. Gross. Okay. Why is that gross? Because by the time it gets here, it'll be gross. Yeah. So um, nothing super exciting this week. We did go to uh, see your family. This morning. In Woodland, California this yeah. morning. What was the I thing for? <laughs> Was, did you not know we went to Woodland? I knew we went there. Oh, yeah. oh God. Yeah, we uh, went and we saw my mom and had breakfast and my sister-in-law, Michelle, and son, Gideon. Yeah, I know. I was there. I was I'm telling yeah. everybody else. Nice. So uh, Woodland is an interesting place. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of um, farming, agriculture. It's, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's grown out of a farm town and it has literally twice the amount of people living there now than it did when i was in high school but uh there's still main street yes and there was the state theater on main street but then they built another theater out at the mall (laughs) nice (laughs) which basically killed the theater and on main street and they're trying to now convert it into kind of a cool artsy uh second run movie house but uh I guess city council, you know, have to make the right choices and all of that. But yeah, I don't. I don't know. It's an it's a cool uh, little small town. Mm-hmm. Uh, we saw your sister Brighton early this morning. Yes, <laughs> she was looking for somebody because she wanted to kick their ass. Yes, well, she's she was a little testy. <laughs> yes, uh, that was uh, that's interesting. <laughs> so your your sister and her uh, husband own a bar yes. in town. Kind of like a locals bar. Yeah, totally. Yeah, it's um, but it, it, I mean, it's nice, mm-hmm. but it's it's got that local bar vibe, yeah, feel to it. It's not like all hoity-toity. Mm. And what I like is we were there at what, like eight thirty? About yeah. We well, got, we were there earlier, yeah. but we between when, eight and eight thirty. But I think my sister when this got whole there thing, about, yeah. yeah, this whole thing went down. So apparently, someone showed up at the bar. And wanted to come in and with drink. With their kid. And the bar doesn't open till 9. This is a.m., by the way. <laughs> yeah. 8 o'clock in the morning, yeah. people. Shows up and um, <laughs> is upset that they can't get in the bar. Right. 
and then and bang on the door and there's a back door buzzer because you know for deliveries and things like that you need the buzzer to be loud and so there's a back buzzer to the door and mm. my mother was there and uh working let's working. not make it sound like she was there yeah hanging out yeah, <laughs> drinking by herself yeah 8 30 in <laughs> no, the morning no 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 my mother was there working and uh someone buzzed on the door and apparently he wanted to come in and hang out with and his son with his son which we're not sure if he is 21 pretty sure not 21 right but uh so and my mother was on the phone and working and she just like no dude seriously and like they shut the door and then apparently he went around well, I guess first he actually tried the front door and then went around to the back door and buzzed because he thought he could come in the back door. I don't right. know. And of course, it, they're not open yet. And uh, he was very pissed. And then he called on the phone and uh, my mother answered the phone as, you know. And he said she, some not very nice things. He said some not very nice things. So and I like how your mom called your sister. <laughs> so my mom was like, what the hell? And called uh, my sister who was even more like, what the bloody hell, and was all over it. She just I like, don't think she, she said, what the bloody hell. She did not, but, you know, we're on the internet. <laughs> she jammed her car on down there and, like, showed up in a fury and was like, what like the hell? she went to the guy's house looking Yeah, she for went him. to his, because he's local, you know, you get the, the regulars, if you will, and uh, showed up at the guy's house and was like, don't be disrespecting my mama. <laughs> well, she didn't see him. <laughs> she, she he wasn't there. She yet. She hasn't found him yet. Correct. But she did say... He obviously must have gone to another bar to try to get let in because he wasn't home. Yeah. Uh, We don't know... Allegedly. We don't know that he went to another bar. We don't know that. And we don't know what has happened since. We just know that... But we just know that your sister said that she's going to punch him in his fucking face every time he ordered a drink. (laughs) Yeah, she was not happy. She was was looking. extremely unpleased that uh, somebody went to their bar and tried to disrespect the mother as uh, the mother was hard at work at eight o'clock in the morning, which by the way, people, if you are drinking with your son at eight o'clock in the morning at a bar, congratulations. That is awesome. Woo! Please follow us on Twitter. (laughs) Because that, that is vacation for me. I was going to say that's only acceptable on vacation. (laughs) That's vacation to me. I figure you get up, you're like, what am I going to do today? Nothing. I'm on vacation. (laughs) <laughs> let's drink well maybe he's on we don't know maybe he's on vacation he could be on vacation maybe the son's on vacation maybe he know. wanted to party with your mom we don't know we i think we're know. being a little judgmental a little judgy that's okay though because he sounds like he's a really great guy right. so anyway so we were uh that's There's how the a way morning to be and not a way to be and that's not awesome that's so. how the morning started yes and then we went to breakfast <laughs> mind you i was minding my business the whole time up there i was not prepared for an eight thirty in the morning fight between the sister regular. and some dude and his son for whatever for drinks yeah <laughs> so small town community you know uh if you're ever in california go visit woodland and drop by the bar <laughs> the one bar say yeah. hi say hi for us <laughs> so then we went to bob's to eat it's not bob's <laughs> yeah <laughs> should be bob's yes what went, is it went to don's don's Ooh. well Forgive me. Either way. Um, and you got pancakes, and I got uh, eggs and hash browns. Yeah. And so, and then I thought it was fun. So we sit down. It's me, you, and your mom. And right. we sit down, mm-hmm. and we order. And then your sister-in-law walks in. I, well, no one else confirmed. With? With, with the son. And uh, my sister-in-law. So we're um, all like, oh. Holy crap. Hey. Sorry. <laughs> well, we yeah. didn't know she was coming. And so. I love how she told your brother. Let them, to let us know, yeah. Yeah, that he can't make it, but you can. And we never, we did not get that message. I did not get that message. And so we just sat at like a little booth for four people. And uh, so we had to move to another table. But that was actually really good because uh, it was great to have her. But not we were really just good because like, oh, coffee went everywhere. Yes. We decided to sit at the wobbliest table. <laughs> well, we didn't know. And we just sat down and mom's coffee, half of it spilled out on the table. My and coffee in, spilled out. Yeah. It was, yeah, this. Uh, it was an all call on napkins. It's a cool little. Um, diner yeah restaurant thing yeah. but it's it's not built to last it's it's <laughs> built for today it's right. not built yeah so it's got like yeah it was I built cheaply yeah that's putting it to nicely. confess yeah. yeah and so yeah so yeah so coffee so coffee coffee was coffee was good before our food got there because right, that would have been felt weird. terrible yeah. yeah and i think that sucks is that that she was like all like that we're was her to morning yeah. like yeah this is we're gonna all have breakfast and then we're like oh we just ordered 
Sorry. No, we just didn't know. We would have waited if we knew. Probably. We're not sure, though. <laughs> I think. So I guess pancakes need to be eaten, damn it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So the, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the diner's like in this little strip mall. It's cool. Yeah, I, you know, what's funny is the first time they had me eat there and they were like, oh, meet us at dawn. So I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I well, don't when know you what you're talking the, about. You sent me, uh, the picture when you went there a while Before, ago yeah. and you were like oh well at least they have you know saws and stuff on the yeah wall. there is a farm farming equipment yeah tools all over the walls and yeah. really really sharp like uh saw blades and uh I they have know. a six shooter yeah. nailed to the wall for fun yeah. on a uh a pelt of some animal pelt yes and it's so interesting that you just sit next to them while they're high up on the wall. I hope they're really securely placed there because I was just looking at them thinking, I don't, wow, that I don't could think they are. Because if the badly. tables don't stay <laughs> where they're the supposed tables are to, wobbly? I don't think the saws on the wall are going to well, stay. Well, yeah. And so it was fun. You got to tell your meat bag story. Yeah, I did. Your... We have a really good meat bag story. We'll tell that one you... of these days. You. <laughs> like the meatbag story. I forgot about it's, the meatbag story. It's a terrible and weird story. And uh, we'll tell it one of these We'll days. tell it. You want me to tell it right now? Sure. Why not? Oh, We're my gonna gosh. Wait. People are, I don't think people are going to be thrilled like, wow, I really want to hear your meatbag story <laughs> later. <laughs> okay. So we have Thanks this. Thanks for teasing uh, your meat yeah, bag. Meat bag. And it's not as good as it sounds. We're not going to be talking about my meat bag or any Whoa. other guy's meat bag. No. Which would be probably a better story in my it's eyes. It's a bag of meat. <laughs> And there's a story with it. It's well, really weird. It's a bag of meat, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, so. If you, well, it's been a little while now, a few weeks or so. Uh, oh, it's been a long, it was It was over the winter. Months? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, it's still. It's still fresh in your it's mind. It's still fresh in my, my mind because yeah. it's freaky. So uh, we have a. Uh, Which we say. Every podcast. Yes, we have two dogs and two cats. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we have a Doberman, and he's a total Velcro dog. He needs to be with Neil all of the time. Velcro dog? Velcro dog. That's what they call him. Oh, really? Yeah. I just, I call him awesome. Mama's boy? No. <laughs> yeah, well, I can be mama. <clears throat> well. He's actually lying down next to you right now in well, the office. there's more room by me, I think. But yeah. anyway, so he sleeps next to Neil in bed at night, and he gets up. To well, go let's, to the bathroom. Stop, let's stop there because we're terrible dog parents in the sense that the dogs, well, this is a dog house. We yes. don't have kids. We don't even like kids, so we're not going to have <laughs> True kids. True story. Um, but we do have pets and we love our pets. And we mm -hmm. have two dogs that we allow Everywhere. on the couch. Yeah. They sleep in the bed with us. And I know there's people screaming going, oh my God, that's terrible. Go However, screw yourselves because they're, they're our dogs well are very well trained yeah. as well. Like you and we clap people, three times and wherever that Doberman is, he comes running. Yeah. And if you come to this house, we tell you beforehand, the dogs are welcome. They live here. You're just a meat bag. So <laughs> just, if, if you don't stop. want dog you're nose, just visiting, yeah. yeah. if you don't want dog nose in your crotch, <laughs> if you don't want dog hair on your clothes... If you don't want a puppy to bring you a ball so you can play, if right. you don't want, if you're afraid of a dog maybe barking, <laughs> don't come over. And I mean that so honestly. I mean, really, <laughs> just don't come over because I'm not going to put both the dogs outside. Totally asleep yeah. and totally quiet, and they don't even really bark that much. We yeah. have really great dogs, there, yeah, and they're and well trained. Our house is clean and our house is nice, but <laughs> it is dog friendly. You want to bring your dog over? Cool. You want to bring your kid over? Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But no. I, what, what do you mean we're <laughs> kidding? <laughs> we're not kidding. Family can bring their kids over because that's family, and you make sacrifices. <laughs> if we don't know you that well, and you want to bring your kid over, don't. <laughs> what you're laughing? I know. Anyway, so you're totally interrupting. In no, I just wanted to story. explain <laughs> because the dogs are in bed with us, and that's totally normal. It's totally normal. Except for when we have to give them the treat so we can fool around because otherwise they'll stay in the bed with us and that right. freaks me out. Okay. So go ahead. Meat bag. Dogs okay. in bed with me. Us. Whoa. <laughs> naked. We're all naked. No. No one's naked. They're covered okay. in fur. Okay. Stop. <laughs> okay. So we're all in bed. It's the middle of the night. We're all sleeping. 
Seven gets up, we assume, to go to the bathroom, and he's gone for a while. And he usually just runs out, runs back in, but uh, he's out there doing something. And so finally Neil gets up to see what the hell the dog's doing. Well, now doing. he's such an old bastard. He doesn't even get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. Yeah, most of time he doesn't so get up. So it's weird that he even got up. Right. So he got up, and he was outside for a while. So Neil, you know, obviously, and I probably would have done it if Neil didn't do it. So Neil got up to check on him because, you know, he's old. You never know. And... The dog. Neil's not that old. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> And Neil's so coming. at this point, he's back inside and he's in the office, this room, in fact, with the dog door. And uh, he's <laughs> yeah, so if you, sniffing if you at a bag. If you watch the video of the podcast, <laughs> this is the, <laughs> this this is is the, the room. room right? <laughs> <laughs> um, so he's in here and he uh, has his nose trying to sniff a bag and pawing at it and basically going after this plastic bag, which... Neil, at that point in the middle of the night, assumes it's cat litter because I clean the cat box and put it in a plastic bag. Although I always throw it away. But yeah, so. typically it's not left out. But that's right. my mind could only fathom. Right, it's like two o'clock in the morning. If there's a yeah, bag, and so in the room where we we keep the cat box in a closet. Right. Um, so because you know, otherwise litter the dogs boxes would are just, over, yeah, yeah, and they're disgusting. Right. Um, but when you clean it, you typically throw, obviously right. daily, throw it away. So I just thought, oh, maybe you clean it and forgot. And the dog, Seven, who loves cat poop. <laughs> right, because dogs love cat poop. Um, was trying to get at it. So right. I was just like, you know, whatever. Right, so totally, went, totally obvious assumption, yeah. especially at 2 o'clock in the morning. And so they come back to bed, and I say, so what's going on? And Neil says, oh, he was, you know, messing with a bag of cat poop. And in my half-asleep brain, I'm like, bag of cat poop? What the hell? I didn't leave a bag of cat poop. Well, I must have, because there was a bag of cat poop. So fast forward to alarm and shower, and I'm getting ready. Yeah, so we probably, got up super early in the morning. We get up forward. around four-ish. Yeah, and so, and we have... Uh, so, right. We so, have two, the, the house is laid out really interesting. We have two bathrooms. Um, my, the bathroom that I actually use to get ready is out in the garage. I know it sounds insane, but it, it makes sense if you see the house. Right, but, and then all the houses so in not, this neighborhood have bathrooms in the garage. So it actually is really weird because we investigated that. We're like, why is there a bathroom yeah. in the garage? Why is there a full well, bathroom we'll get back, in we'll the garage? We'll get back to that later. Right. But anyway, so I'm not actually in the house proper. I am in the garage when the next part happens. Right, so I get out of the shower, get dressed, doing my thing, getting everybody ready. And then all of a sudden... It floats into my head, <laughs> you know, cat litter bag. You should probably take care of that. Oh, crap. So I should go take care of that. So I come in here and I look for the cat litter bag. It's right there where you left it. And I'm like, okay, cool. So I kind of start doing some stuff around here. And then I notice that the dogs are kind of sniffing it and going after it again. And and I don't know what made me think of it, but it didn't look like a bag of cat food. And it was totally... It wasn't cat food. Cat poop. Cat poop, excuse me. Yeah. And... Uh, <laughs> But it was a bag like I would normally use for cat litter and from our local grocery store just a few blocks away down the street. And uh, so it would make sense that it would totally be that. And But that's not what it was. And so I kind of touched it and it felt cold. And I was like, what the hell? So I open it up and it is actually a bag of raw meat. So just to back up, you said you touched it and you felt felt that it was cold. So typically when you scoop the cat poop, does it feel warm to you? <laughs> well, you know how you can kind of see through the plastic grocery bags because they're I thin? No, I don't know? I don't well, have Superman vision. Well, you can kind of tell there's like anyway, it didn't look like a bag of cat litter. And so I opened it up to look to see what was inside because it didn't seem like a bag of cat litter. Right. I thought it was really weird. And I also thought it was really out of character and very strange. I would leave a bag of cat poop knowing how much the dogs love to munch on cat poop yeah. around and easily And the fact that leaving accessible. cat poop bags around is kind of nasty. Gross, yeah. yeah. So I, I would not have done that. So you you saw that it was not Correct. I open up poop. the bag and it is... And so at this point, I start to freak out. I open up the bag. It's a bag of raw meat. And I stand there for like... A it's a, it's a uh, chicken or turkey, small turkey or chicken carcass. Yes. It, uh, and it's like wings and guts and stuff. Like right. That. So it's not rancid. It's fresh. No. And yeah. it's actually cool to the touch. Like, because I touch it through the bag, not in a touch it's directly. It's also 4 o'clock in the morning. Right. Um, so I hope it's not hot. Right. Well, you know what I mean. Like, it was obviously. Right. You know, like, not cooked. It was raw. So there's a bag of raw meat in our house that is not from us. And no, the, I the carcass was cooked. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, no. Okay. We'll talk about this after. Right. Okay. Well, so I'm freaking out because I open up this bag that's obviously not from our house, 
we did not create this bag of meat and we obviously did not bring it into the house. And so at some point, I'm assuming Seven brought it into the house. So he must have found it outside in our enclosed and very safe yard. Well, we have a dog run that's enclosed that is enclosed in our enclosed backyard. Right. And from our a, from a our double office, sturdy dog yeah, run. from our office, there's a dog door. There isn't a sliding glass door, but we put a dog door in the wall going outside, and it goes out to the dog room, right? Which is a locked, closed, enclosed facility. So somehow this bag of meat bag right. got into the dog run, and then into the house. Right. So I'm in. You're in I'm, the garage in the I'm bathroom. I'm in the garage taking a shower. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm almost done, and you run out, and well, because I'm say, freaking out because people. What would you do? It's like 4:30 in the morning, and you discover a bag of raw meat in your house. So it's like what you run out the you hell is going on? Through the door, she pounds on the door and says, "It's a bag of meat." <laughs> right now, I'm mind like, you, knock knock knock. I'm not Neil. thinking knock, about knock, knock. it. I'm not. <laughs> So I don't know what it is. I don't know what the bag. It's a bag of meat. And I'm like, what are you I know, talking about? Okay, so you know that bag that you thought was cat litter? It's not. It's a bag of meat. It's a bag of raw meat. Yes. In the house. So. And I just stand there and stare at him like, do something. Yeah. So I'm like, <laughs> all right. So anyway, so I get dressed. We come inside. It is a bag of meat. Now, the reason I remember that the carcass was cooked was because we discussed that if it wasn't, it wouldn't be a big deal if he ate it, but because it was cooked, you can't. They can't have cooked chicken bones because they splinter. Mm. So I'm. I remember I'm being raw. Barely. Okay. There was raw meat in it also. Okay. There was a, like the skin and stuff like that. Anyway. Right. It was definitely like I believe because it smelled like turkey. Because I was all up in there. I smelled it. I was looking at it because I thought maybe it was poisoned. Right. That was our big so concern. Was that somebody, it looked like turkey offcuts? Like somebody. Annalise was a really worried and... that it was that it was poison and then in my thought i was thinking wow it's a lot of work to throw poison meat in a bag over the fence you just typically would throw the poison meat the reason we were also concerned is because in san francisco at this time there's somebody who is going around putting poison meatballs in dog near parks. dog parks yeah. for dogs to find it and one dog died and many got sick so we were a little freaked out so i actually took the bag of fowl <laughs> right um and put it uh, in a Tupperware and put it in the refrigerator right. so we could watch Just the dog. Case. So if something happens, we could have it um, tested. tested. However, fortunately, nothing <laughs> happened. Right. Except for I the mean, fact that we had a bag of meat <laughs> in our house in the I, middle yeah, of the I night. Yeah, I completely freaked out. I was like, what the hell is going on? There's a bag of raw meat in our house. Somebody do something. Like I started like running around the house like somebody do something. And then I started turning into mom mode where I grab the dogs and looking yeah, at them she, like she's okay looking, asking them if they're okay. are you okay like looking at them and touching them like okay is everybody okay and they're like oh my god yeah, crazy lady leave me alone uh, yeah so. so bag of meat but what's what the funniest thing is all the different scenarios we've come up for how the meat we have n- got we in. still have, I have absolutely I, no idea what i like is that no I, idea I how we got a bag of meat that are in very, the house are very like you know, they're just a possum grabbed the bat, a raccoon. They got into the yard. The dogs went out. The raccoons got scared. They left the bag. Almost everyone else is like, no, someone threw that bag over the fence. Because it's just so weird. It's like, so somebody went to the trouble of cutting up this turkey and doing the offcuts and putting up the turkey in a bag to take it out to the trash, I assume. But it didn't make it no, into the trash? No, I think it made it into the trash. So the possum got into the trash. Or the raccoon got into the trash. Dug the bag out. It could have been on top. Started carrying the bag around. Wanted to take it back to its den or its home. Somehow through our yard. Correct. Seven lazy bones got up or from zero. bed. We don't know. And I mean, went out there and if zero scared got up, the possum. If zero got up. And the we, possum or drops the, cat, the bag. Or the cat. <laughs> Well, it's not like the possum carries it, you know, like a briefcase. Like it's a purse. Yeah. But it drops the bag, then one of the dogs, or I don't... Obviously, It was, the, it was heavy. I don't the think dog, the cat brought it in. The dog or the cat brought it in. Right. The, no other animal got in here, because if right. they did, it wouldn't go well. I'm just saying, as a homeowner, when you wake up at four o'clock in the morning, and there's something strange in the house that you didn't put in the house... Oh, like a bag of raw meat, for example. No, I totally get that. You're going to freak the fuck out. <laughs> I just think it's funny, like how, what we think the uh, how it got there yeah. is just because I'm like, yeah, you know, some wild animal. Yeah, Neil's totally it. calm. He's like, oh, yeah. just a possum or something weird. Afterwards, after you know, we, right. the dogs were fine. And because, again, when I came in that morning, 
I smelled the meat bag and the meat and checked it. Doesn't it. look and like, like it's poison. Like, it, and it looks. We got to save it for the cops. It's just somebody's in case dinner, and, you know. Yeah. Although, granted, if someone would poison my dog, I would I would gladly go to jail to make that person suffer the same fate. Right. Which is fine with me. I'm totally cool with that. Mm-hmm. I'm like that weirdo that if like a I bunch of neighbors, I would smash your window if I saw your dog a bunch stuck of neighbors ended up dead and it was me. Like our neighbors wouldn't be like, oh, he seemed like such a nice guy. They'd be like, yeah, <laughs> we're not shocked. I'm pretty sure my family would be like, ah. that's not true. Yeah. The neighbors love you. Not, I well, get the I, I get the neighbors. courtesy wave. <laughs> we don't even know that many of our neighbors. Any, anyway, so anyway. that was our, that's the meat bag. So story. meat bag story. So. so I told that story at breakfast this morning. Yeah, which which went over <laughs> great. I think we were the only ones into it. <laughs> Michelle thought it was amazing. Mm-hmm. She was like, "What the?" Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, it's funny because breakfast started with your mom talking about abused animals. I know. I was like, and um, I, let's I, I was not talk about that at breakfast, Trying to change the subject, mom. you know, yeah. nicely without, oh, but it's. Right. <laughs> so anyway, so breakfast at Bob's was good. Dogs. No, actually, it wasn't that good. My pancakes were terrible. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, well, I didn't like it. Um, my food was pretty good. Yeah. I just got eggs and hash browns. You can't. Yeah. It's hard to mess that up. But it was nice to hang out with your mom and see her and uh obviously see your sister-in-law and their kid uh your brother didn't make it because he right. had to work right which is oh and we we talked about this earlier uh we got your brother's uh comic book in right. the mail not in the mail your mom gave it to us right yeah we told him not to have it so uh my brother, brother michael has a comic book he's a yeah. writer and so this is kind of cool how much time do we have? yeah i think we're good so, uh, yes. Yeah, so your brother has, has been writing for a long time mm-hmm. and obviously loves comic books and has been, yes. so uh, he started, and he a, got me into comic books really. Cause, uh, I said, go with him to the comic book store and stuff. And he's my younger brother. Right. So. so, um, he started a Kickstarter campaign Yes. to get this, I guess this one issue. Issue number one. It's called because Curse, they Curse did of the Vessel. Curse of the Vessel. They had an issue zero, which they won a contest to have, um, published right so that's really cool yeah so um so we had a kickstarter and obviously we wanted to help out. and the, the cool thing uh was and is i think you know when somebody has a desire and a dream especially in arts of any kind well of, of any i guess i'm a little more prone to arts you know playing guitar and right. being into that so um you know when when somebody's gonna do this and they put it out there it's like I want to do everything I can to support that. You know, it's like if you're getting married, I'm probably going to buy you a pretty cheap gift because you're getting married. And that's great and I hope you have a great life, but it's you know, whatever. We're, right. I'm I'm a friend, I'm going to be there, I'm going to support that marriage. But if you're putting your freaking heart and guts out on the line to do something you love, I want to do whatever I can to push that forward, whether it's a podcast or a band or a song or a comic book. So it was really cool to get to be a part of it in the sense that we could donate to the mm-hmm. Kickstarter. And, and then um, we I would have liked to have like donated Facebook more. And like but published there's... and shared and all that. Yeah. So anyway, so he, he they reached their goal. Right. Uh, they put it put out the comic book. They did the digital version. There's a hard copy, um, artwork, all this right. cool stuff. So we got it and today. And you got a uh, personalized piece of art yeah, as well. Yeah, from, from cool. the artist. So it was, it was really cool. We got it. Uh, t- we actually got the hard copy. Today. Now, have you read it? Have you read it yet? I read the first one. You know, oh, the, uh, issue zero. zero. I okay, haven't read, read this one that we just okay. got today. So I read the the digital copy, and it's really good. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, you know, when, when somebody that you know does something, you always feel like, well, you got to be... Supportive. Yeah, it's like why yes. when I played um, in bands, I always hated when friends would tell me how great I did because I'm like, that's you can't really trust cool. That, yeah. But I don't you know, you're a little biased. <laughs> right. Um, so it was always nice to hear from people you don't, you don't know, know that well. Right. So I mean I, we've been together for a while, but I don't spend a ton of time with your family. And I would have really felt bad if I thought it was crap and would have had to say <laughs> like, Yeah, dude, totally follow your dream, bro. Go all the right. way. But it's really good. I mean, it's it's good. I really enjoyed it. Um, good job, Michael. <laughs> yeah. So um, it was cool to get it. It's cool to be a part, a, a small part of mm-hmm. someone being able to do what they want. I certainly hope it gets picked up. I hope if it doesn't, that he just keeps doing Kickstarters until it does. I think if he sticks with it and right. just keeps putting stuff out there, 
uh, it will get picked. I mean, it's good. Right. So it was kind of fun. And it's neat that it's your brother and that we can help support him. However, I will say this. Michael, if you listen to this podcast, get your website up, buddy. Let's do this. <laughs> all right? If you need help, let me know. But get the website up. But anyway, if you want to check it out, because it is awesome. He does have a Facebook page, and it's Facebook. Wait, is he paying for this? Because this should be paid advertising. <laughs> Come on now. We Come paid on. for the goddamn comic Come book. Come on now. <laughs> so it's facebook.com forward slash curse of the vessel. Mm -hmm. If nothing else, check it out. Right. If um, And his personal Facebook is Michael Leal, L-E-A-L. -E yeah. Yay. Michael is uh, QSF41 <laughs> and then L-E-A-L. I'm joking. Don't put that in. There's some no. idiot who's going to be typing right. that into right. Facebook totally. Please right don't now. do that. Yeah, right. it's a porn site that we made up. Anyway. Uh, oh, that reminds me of something no, else, but I'll no, finish no, that no. after this. Uh, oh, so anyway, um, yeah, so it's just really cool, and it, uh, it was kind of fun to get that and get the artwork. And now we have to go buy frames because yes. I want to put the, we want to put the artwork. It's really cool, and you got a house. really cool one. It's a, a skeleton dude in a chair holding the skull of a lady. It's not the skull. It's the head. The head of a lady. Yeah. It is pretty awesome. Right. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So that was neat. I, I, I'm I, very happy. I mean, it's just so cool to see people right. Live in, well, follow their dreams. Making it happen for themselves. Yeah. I mean, that's that's, that's the cool. American dream, right? Make it happen for yourself. And having the support of, you know, his wife yeah. and his son and all yeah. that is really cool. And I, I hope it uh, it leads to bigger things. But if it doesn't, I hope he keeps just doing it because it's, right. it's pretty cool. Get the website up. <laughs> um Go, bro. Oh, so it reminds me. I have another podcast idea. Oh. So like we're going to have two podcasts? I'm thinking the second one's going to be way better than this one. Wow. This is pretty good. What are no. you talking about? Listen. Oh, no. It's going to be like a porn podcast. Mm -mm. But it's just the sounds of us having sex. Nope. Yes. Nope. Don't you think people would listen? I'm sure someone would listen. I'm thinking because porn is so popular on the internet. And obviously, we're not doing this podcast to make money. There's nothing, you know, nothing about that. We're doing this for us and for fun, and it's great. And again, we've had a great response, which is awesome. But I'm thinking, no, we turn the mics on, we put the mics in the bedroom, <laughs> nope, and we get crazy. No, nope. you don't think people would listen? Oh, I'm sure someone would listen, but that could be the that's for money the scary podcast. Part that could be the for money. Nope. We don't have to say who we are. Nope. It wouldn't be like, you know, Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks present. Doing it. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> Maybe it wouldn't be that. <laughs> no. That is... Do you think a masturbation podcast Stop. would go over well? <laughs> I don't know what that would sound like, though. <laughs> it would be four seconds of silence <laughs> and then, ugh. And then I guess I got to clean that up. Well. I, don't, I don't know. So, do you do you like the porn podcast? Idea? No. Are you in? No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe my sister and her husband would do it. We'll just oh, record good it. lord! No, I'm not a part of that. Say that now, but wait till the ad revenue comes in. <laughs> wait I like till the if, monies are offered. <laughs> what I like is if your brother listens to this podcast. I know it's going to go down. He's going to be, be like, like what? "Oh, that's so cool! They talked about my comic, and now the dumbass is talking about a porn porn podcast." I'm telling you, bro. Start it. It's going to be awesome. Put it on the website. Yeah, that's where the money is. <laughs> it's all about the bottom line. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, no. All right. <laughs> so, uh, you're going to ask me about my week or? <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. I didn't earlier, but I will now. I was totally going to. We got interrupted by the meat bag story. Uh, but, get interrupted uh... by this meat bag. Easy. How what does that look? <laughs> they can't see the look unless they watch the video. <laughs> this is an audio. He got a look. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so how was your week? Oh, funny you ask. It was good, thanks. <laughs> so what else is going on? Wow, really? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so uh, this week uh, was good. I got my hair cut. Yes. So if you if you look, see. Oh, Almost I got went it. to a yeah. Giants game. Yeah. So I got my hair cut, which was kind of cool. I go to uh, Great Clips. To get my hair cut, which is really funny considering I have my cosmetology license. He is, and in I have, fact, a licensed cosmetologist, people. And I have friends who, um, you know, cut hair, and I don't go to them. And the reason I go to Great Clips is because 
NASCAR. NASCAR. Because I try <laughs> to support the businesses that support NASCAR. Because I'm an idiot, and that's just how I live. So I went, hey. I'm not sure your $15 haircut's really pitching in, but. It's 14 by the way. Excuse me. I apologize. Um, so I went, and uh, this dude cut my hair. I don't know his name. Um, I don't know if he told me his name. Really nice guy, and he it was the best haircut I ever had at Great Clips, mm -hmm. and he did a good job. And, what and he was, probably won't be there next time. And what was, that's not, no, I'm doing a. <laughs> Stop. That's not uh I just cool. mean that you've told me that every time you go, it's someone different. Right. It is. But I believe people are there for a little while, because like he was, he's been there for a year or something. I just, I never go at the same time, so. Um, but he did a really good job, which was funny, because the last time, um, before this, do you remember when I got my hair cut at Regis? Yes. By I, now, I worked at Regis right out of uh, cosmetology school. Right. Regis is a chain. I don't know right. if it's and it's always in a mall. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if it's countrywide or not, but it's a chain. And, and um, so anyway, so this uh, this guy um, is going to. Are you referring to the Regis guy? Yeah, the Regis guy is going to cut my hair, and I sit in his chair, and he is a very nice gentleman, um, very gay. And not, I'm not saying that because I could tell by looking at him because I probably couldn't, but because he was talking about the men that he dated, so I figured he's he's gay. If not that bisexual, that was the longest haircut I think you've ever gotten. I think he I was actually. Me. I think he. Wanted I'm me. absolutely positive he was because it was not an, only the longest an haircut. An hour and forty I minutes. I was actually getting worried. I was like, "Why are you still like, getting your haircut?" Yeah, I think it was. What an is going hour, on? An hour and forty minutes. Yeah. Um. He and was he, hoping you'd hang out for a while. I guess, but it was funny because the, my hair, I just kind of put junk in it and it's always messy. I mean, I don't have a hair style, <laughs> so I'm like, I don't know what yeah, you're doing do. because <laughs> I don't, uh, you know, I don't know what's going on. But anyway, so this, it was good hair. I don't even want to, oh, that was part of my week. So yeah. You so, got your uh, um, If you don't care. Why did you refer back to the Regis guy? Because you were talking about the guy here at Great Clips. Did, oh, because this some... dude did it like it was, because I haven't had my hair cut by a bunch of guys. Typically, right. it's a lot of women. I mean, I know when I cut hair, I was one of very few men who cut hair in the area. So mm -hmm. um, I was just maybe remember the last time I had a dude cut my hair in forever. So I was glad that this guy did it in about 13 minutes. It was right. awesome. In, <laughs> well, out. the other guy was trying to get a date. So that's why it took an hour and a half. Well, he should so. have given me the haircut for free because then I might have bought him dinner. You know, but what? I'm not going <laughs> to spend 18 bucks on a haircut and buy some dude dinner. <laughs> And yeah, and I almost went to a Giants game to be uh, told I was awesome right. by the Giants organization. Uh, but you didn't go. No, Roger went. We had a uh, the Champions Luxury Box mm -hmm. Suite. But uh, you we didn't were, go. No, we were going to be uh, recognized on the field before the game. Mm -hmm. But I didn't go. No, no, I had better things. It's a long drive. I play with the dogs. There was there was. You gotta drive there. You gotta drive back. There was bigger fish to fry. Yeah. Bigger fish to fry. <laughs> so that was my week. Didn't go to a Giants game, got my hair cut, went for a mountain bike ride. My mountain bike's filthy. It is. I've seen it. <laughs> yeah. It's filthy. I have to clean it. Not that anybody cares. I care. It's filthy. Yeah. And now, um, I don't know. I might go, what? What? Now we might, why are you looking at my notes? Sorry. God damn, it's windy here. It is really windy. Jesus. Kind of weird. Timony. It's been really warm and now it's starting to cool off. Yeah, it's supposed like to be warm. I have to put on tomorrow. pants instead Not of Not that shorts. anybody cares about our weather here. They do. And people in the, I think the east is still probably under freaking six feet of snow. <laughs> Poor people. I, I think the, is the NFL draft this weekend? Oh, I don't know. But you care. Uh, Sure. <laughs> no, you don't. I don't. Not at all. Hmm. We have to update, we updated our bios for the website. Yes, we're doing that. The, the website is just this ongoing beast of burden i don't know, I don't know if it's ever a evolving yeah but you know it's good to have it and people can go there and check it out and get the past episodes learn about and us stuff. yeah see what's going on mm -hmm. become our friends if you will and or if, not, if you want to that's not or don't want yeah. to that's yeah fine too. either way meatbag did you call me meatbag i'm just throwing yeah. it out there just throwing it out there meatbag <laughs> sausage holder oh are you coming up with names call each other <laughs> No. Yeah. Oh, I thought I thought we were getting sex. I thought you were think, double thinking, double thinking. Whoa. Double thinking this uh, porn podcast. Nope. 
Yeah, are you kicking me for a reason? I was trying to get my slipper back yeah, on. Yeah, you were like all meat bag. Yeah, got put, my little fuzzy slippers on, and it was falling off. Put some of this meat bag in my. That's not what was happening. Take your meat back <laughs> to Taco Town or whatever God. it's called. I don't know what it's called. I have to say, for anyone who doesn't know Neil, he comes up with the most different and elaborate euphemisms for. I guess, Vagina. Sex. Oh, but, sex. Um, but like consistently new ones I've never thought of or heard of. I it's can't actually even think amazing. of any. What well, I, you can't I'm, right now, but yeah. let's not, let's not go into it. Let's just, I'm just giving you kudos. Do you have a nickname for your vagina? I don't. As a kid, did you have a nickname for your vagina? No. Did you name your vagina? No. You just always called it vagina? Do you call it vagina or do you use the, p, the p word? Nope. You didn't I either? don't think I called it anything really. Like you never referred to it like you never thought about it like it you know your vagina <laughs> i'm sure i referred I was, to it but i never gave it a name or anything i always refer to mine as my peepee okay <laughs> yeah it's my peepee which doesn't sound big i should have come up with a bigger sounding name like my hey. chuck <laughs> it sounds like a little kid like talking about i still call it my peepee yes well yeah. Because <laughs> it looks like a little kid's pee pee. You never had a name or anything. You just nope. that's weird. Okay, thanks. I would think it would be a friend. Like you'd want a buddy. You know, it's your buddy. Mm -mm. I mean, it went with you everywhere. <laughs> oh, it did. I can't think of any euphemisms for. I know you can't right now, but anyway, we're moving on. He can usually come up with some really elaborate, funny ones. Usually, but not now. Right. Well, now, right... now that I put you on the spot. Yeah. Well, I didn't know I was supposed to. No, I don't want you to. <laughs> So there we um, are. I, um, I always forget to mention when we talk about what I did this week, I always forget to mention my uh, Thursday cookie meetings. And I uh, put a picture on Facebook oh, and on my Twitter about do, my cookie meetings. Do uh, people in the cookie meetings listen? Um, I think a couple of them do, in fact. So now they're going to hear about your nickname for your vagina. Which I don't have. You're welcome. Stop yeah. it. Call it Flipper. Nope. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> I think that would be a great nickname for a vagina. So anyway, so talk about your, uh, so you and Flipper were at the cookie meeting. No, I was at the cookie meeting. With Flipper. <laughs> Stop it. Um, so on Thursdays, we have cookie meeting Thursdays, and it's turned into like this whole Did we talk about thing. this before? I don't think we have talked about it. Go ahead. You keep talking about it. You and like, I talk about it. I talk about but Flipper all the But I don't think we've talked time. about it. Stop it. I think Flipper's awesome. I don't think we talked about it on the podcast. So on Thursdays, I uh, work for the engineering department, and uh, we have cookie meetings on thursdays and it's always a, a thing we have like two different plates of cookies because the gluten-free people have cookies and then the regular cookies and sometimes the cookies are amazing we talked about cookies last week well i think i brought up cookies but, but we didn't talk about meeting anyway so, all right so uh sometimes cookies are amazing and sometimes they're not so awesome and it's really hilarious because even though I call them cookie meetings. They're really not supposed to be about the cookies, but we really do spend like half of our time on Thursdays talking about the cookies. What cookies? And if they were good? And if they were good, what they are, because there's no... <laughs> the guy's awesome. The cook makes like five different kinds. <coughs> Excuse, Excuse me. me. Oh. <coughs> but uh, there's no labels, so we don't know what they are. So right. we literally point at them and go, hey, what do you think this is? I don't know. And then we made a joke about how... Um, one of the guys was saying that he has trust issues because um, you don't know if it's a chocolate chip or a raisin. How can you trust that cookie? <laughs> it's, true. it's true. So you think it's a chocolate chip, right? Then you get a raisin. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have wah, any wah, flipper wah. flavored cookies? Or it could be a cranberry. Stop it. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> you don't have to kick me. I have. Um, I did have something um, that I wanted to add that had to do with your work oh, from yeah. last podcast. So. Last podcast, you talked about the Empire Strikes Back mm -hmm. dailies that you found. Right. And we do uh, a quick video of this uh, podcast. So if you want to see it, you can check it out on YouTube mm -hmm. forward slash DAPF pod. Right. And that's number and four. It, right. Right. And it's so it just so we we put it on YouTube just for fun for people that don't download or want to watch it. I don't know if you want to see what we look like or whatever. Right. Um, so the interesting thing was I. I guess I posted it somewhere and I I said something about the Star Wars Daily. I don't remember. I have to go back and look. But I said 
Some about the Star Wars. You retweeted my tweet, so maybe that's it. No, it was somewhere else. It was either on Google Plus or somewhere. You know, it was uh, Stumble Upon, something like that. It was some weird. And I guess people went to the YouTube video thinking that we were showing the Star Wars dailies. Because I didn't put the we. I mean, I figured since it's a podcast, we're talking about the Star Wars. Right, you wouldn't figure that we would show it. But I guess some people thought that we were. Sorry. Yeah, so they were like. That would be There's illegal. no Star Wars dailies in that video. And I was like, um Didn't say there was. No. But I didn't say we were just talking about it. Right. So um to any of you who watched the video hoping for the Star Wars dailies and it wasn't there and you felt bad or you complained, um <laughs> you can go blow yourself. I don't really care. <laughs> Cause uh yeah. Anyway. Yeah. We obviously don't have the authority to show you any Star Wars. But if you aliens, can blow so. yourself, call me because I want you Stop. on the porn pod. Oh god. <laughs> with Flipper. No. Not with Flipper. Stop. That would be weird. So uh yeah. So anyway, I thought that was funny. So I'm sorry to interrupt the cooking. I didn't thing, know you didn't tell me about that. So. I like I like the uh I was hiding it from you. Okay. I wanted to bring it up today. Stop. I was it was a secret. It was a secret uh Empire I feel kind of bad me. that people went there to see dailies and but yeah. Well, when we get the money from when we sell them, it'll be uh, we'll put them up there then. <laughs> I should actually call the archives lady and see how they're doing, like see if that came out okay. Just get an update. But anyway, I'm sorry to interrupt your cookie pod. I just want to throw that cookie pod <laughs> cookie <laughs> conversation. Uh, what's your favorite cookie at the meeting? Um, it's ever changing. You never know what you're going to get. That's part of the weird. But so far, meeting. like what has been your, your favorite? Um, oh gosh. I don't know. I don't either. I mean, they're, I don't know what they are. I don't, there's, uh, like two weeks ago was probably the best cookie meeting ever. And I had a bite of a cookie that I thought was amazing. And I think it had butterscotch in it, like butterscotch chips and some other things in it. But Whenever he does bars, I don't like any of the bars. Like last week, I didn't have any of those. There was like a, some sort of weird cheesecake bar and then a nut bar and something that looks like a brownie, but it wasn't a brownie. And it was like, don't have the brownie. It's not a brownie. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I guess there's not a lot of options for gluten-free people. Carob and so chip. Yeah. Don't eat the carob. It's yucky. But um, so poop. every single week for the gluten free people, they always make macaroons, which is just basically coconut and sugar. And uh, the gluten free people are so sick of macaroons. They're like, oh, look, macaroons. But they used to do Rice Krispie treats, and those people love Rice Krispie treats. They're like, God damn it, where are the Rice Krispie treats? Those people. <laughs> those people. I wonder. Um, the gluten. I wonder people. if the the people making. The cookies that have to make the macaroons are sick of the gluten-free people. If they're like, oh, I'm sure. Seriously. They're like, oh, I have to come up with another really? recipe for gluten-free. I'm sure it's hard to do any sort of pie, cake, or cookie with a gluten-free recipe. Right. Um, but anyway, so – but they've had really cool gluten-free cookies, and I think the Rice Krispie Treats are really the way to go because they seem to really like those. Right. <laughs> anyway, so you can obviously see how into the cookie Thursday we get because <laughs> we, we break it down. Subtle it's the nuances small things. of small yeah. things at Skywalker Ranch. You right. don't know what you're getting into. We used to get cookies and fruits, but then we realized how much the fruit cost, and we're like, "Oh, good lord! We'll just have the cookies. We'll just, you know, cut up our own fruit." <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, it was an actual conversation. We actually oh, took a vote. It's too funny. Cookies right. and fruit, Checking or just yep. cookies? Oh, my mom texted. Hey, Mom's mom. Still in New Orleans. Still in New oh. Orleans. Wanted to talk about that. We'll talk about it next week. But I wanted to talk about my mom. And Alligators and hurricanes. <laughs> that and the freaking camera. Right. Yeah. That. Was, Are we at time? Is that why we're going? Yeah, we're pretty much. Yeah. Okay, we're, cool. Well, we'll talk about it next time. Yeah, we're trying to keep it under an hour. For sure. So, okay. and we got to say our goodbyes. So. Hope you enjoyed. Cookie episode talk. Episode five. <laughs> Cookie and comic talk. Yeah. Um. Thank you for listening. To the Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks podcast. If you would like to check out our website, it is at www.darkangelsandprettyfreaks.com. Facebook at facebook.com forward slash DAPF pod. And like I said earlier, it's the same for YouTube if you want to check out. I mean, the videos aren't that exciting. It's really just us, just us sitting right. here talking. So it's YouTube forward slash DAPF pod. Um, you can follow me at Twitter at Angels Freak Seven. I am Wiretech Girl. And thank you for all the new follows this week. That was really cool. Yes. 
Um, we're going to try Thank you for everything, everybody. It's been great. Yeah. And we're also, yeah, the, again, we, I know we said it for the last five freaking weeks, but we're amazed at how many people are actually listening. I know. Yeah. Uh, it's really cool. And again, this is just something we do for fun. So <laughs> yeah, we hope you we enjoy hope, it. Yeah. Hope you feel like part and of if, it. if you don't, I don't really care. <laughs> um, we're going to try and start a Twitter account for Flipper. So we're going to, if anybody's got any idea for a good Twitter account for Flipper, please let us know. Or if you want to start your own Twitter account, please let us know what's going on with Flipper. I'd like to know Stop what's it. going on okay. with Flipper. Um, were we supposed to say anything else? Oh, yeah. We Some did want to mention. Yeah. Uh, didn't I write it down? I'm pretty sure. Hold on a second. Oh, yeah. So uh, TalkingHeadPodcast.com for the love of pod was really cool to us and has been really cool on Twitter and has kind of been pimping our podcast. So we All just right. wanted to tell them. Yes, thank thank you. you. It's awesome. Um, and I do I have anything else? No, I don't know. I think that's it. Anything else? All I can think of right now. No. No, it's not Flipper. But it's that picture of my mom. Have you seen it? The one in New Orleans where she's standing next to the bronze statues. And they're all men and they're naked. And she's really close to a bronze penis. And, well, and, she, sister, and she's holding one of their hands my, or something. Yeah, my sister sent a text saying, do you think mom knows how close to a penis she is right oh, now? Okay. You didn't tell me that. I didn't know Yeah, that. so it's pretty. So that's all that's in my head right now. I don't know why. Because your mom just texted, so mom was on oh, your mind. Oh, that, that makes sense. All right, so <laughs> anything. I, don't, I can't think of anything else we're supposed to say. I think that's good. We're good. All right, so. Thank you for listening. Yes, uh, we will talk to you next week, next week hopefully. I'd say God willing, but I'm a believer in that. So, see ya. <laughs>